All right, here in the post office again. Uh, I don't know if you remember, if you've been following me, by the way, this is a quick entry blog. But I bought one of those uh, brand new MacBook Air laptops with the M1 chip in it. And uh, at the moment, my 11 rack does, is not compatible to it with it. That comes as no surprise. So I received a new uh, audio interface to make it work. And I'm here in the post office. Check this out. Which is quite a small box, actually. It's very small, yeah. No, it was the same. Just obviously, it's one thing is to watch it online, and another thing is to have it in your hands. But great present for Father's Day. Tomorrow's Father's Day, so I have a nice little gadget. That's cool. Really cool. Really small. Oh, I really love it. Very small, nice little piece. Very straightforward, very easy to set up. I love the simplicity of it already. This is gonna be fun. Really small. Great. Great, great, great. Well, the good reviews with this ones. I have to set it all up later on. So I'm gonna go home and slowly set up everything. This this MacBook Air works wonderful, but you know, without the interface, without my 11 rack, it's just pointless, really. So it's been a long transition since I actually purchased this particular laptop. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to my new setup, and I'm gonna do a video tour. I'm gonna do. It won't be a review of the actual laptop. But I'll give my my own take on it and how what's the difference between uh, a very old <laughs> MacBook Pro from 2010, late 2010, and the latest one. So it's a big jump. It's a big upgrade for me. And obviously, some things don't work, like the 11 rack. Uh, and I'm quite fed up, really, with everything that has to do with with uh, Avid or or I have to go now here. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm quite fed up with the whole thing with Avid and uh, you know one of the reasons why I changed from Pro Tools to Logic is because of the endless uh, difficulties when it came down to upgrades. Uh, and quite recently I found out that the 11 rack actually has been discontinued. And I love the 11 rack by the way. So I know that when you upgrade, you waste a lot of time and energy upgrading everything. Some plugins will not work, some interfaces will not work and will not be compatible. You know the drill if you're a musician, how it goes. So I'm in that phase at this very moment of a big and long, slow transition, but it's worth it. I mean, this MacBook Air with the M chip one uh, on it, it's already so fast. I mean, I'm doing some videos and I'm doing some other things. I've used Logic, but without an interface, you know, and I haven't been able to record my guitar, but whatever I've done, it's just mind blowing. But anyways, it's just one of those quick uh, entry vlogs that I wanted to do here today. It's always a happy day when you go to the post office and pick up some piece of gear, isn't it? Last time I did an entry vlog like this is when I, I received the, the laptop. <laughs> it's not every day that you get a laptop through the mail, especially when it's something that is really powerful. But anyways, this is a quick video entry vlog. I might do, a, like I said, a video tour of the, this new setup so you see what I'm doing here and how this laptop is behaving. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I love you all very much. And as always, rock and roll. And here's to your success.